us. You should be able to go all the way You're almost. upside down already. Yeah, you're upside down. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And you got that on camera? Oh yeah, it's oh, perfect. Fast. It's gonna be the first shot of the video. Upside down. No. Nope. All right, so it's been a few days since we got the metal on the mudroom there. So today we're gonna get started on the back of the house and uh, try to get ourselves in a rhythm and, and get cranking on this project. So I'll set you up, take you along, and we'll see uh, what happens. Trying the Wuko Bender. What Don's doing here is practicing using the Wuko bender, which our supplier for the metal roofing allowed us to use his set of tools, thankfully. Uh, what the Wuko bender does is it bends that edge up so that it can slip under the trim piece on the gable end. But it takes some practice, so that's what we're doing here. Make sure good at it, right? When we've got to make sure yeah. that those rollers here stay, stay in contact with the edge. Stay yeah. in contact at all times, so yeah. they go a yeah. lot slower. All right, let's do the actual little one. Oh, for the end here. So, yeah, got it set right here. 22 feet long. How long? 22? 22 feet, one and a half. Okay, it's the end of the first day of uh, roofing on the main part of the house, and uh, it went pretty well. I, you know, you just saw we got, let's see, one, we got these last two done on the mudroom over here, the little, the last one which we had to cut and, and bend the lip up on. The edge pieces are the hardest parts because you gotta, as you saw us, we gotta, you gotta roll that edge up, and you gotta put that ceiling on there, and it's just, it's tedious, it takes a long time. So, you know, we have a four inch piece and a 16 inch piece. That might be better if it was 10 and 10, but we wanted a nice wide, the widest piece possible here against the house up here. So that if any, we didn't want a lot of ice building up against the house. So we, we made a small little narrow piece out here on this end and a wider piece there. But on the, on the main part of the house, we want to have the same exposure, I guess is the word, on this end as we do on that end. So we did a little math. We just did math. We took 46 and a half, 40, it's 46 feet, 3 inches, divided it down the middle, it's 23, 1 and a half. So if you pushed all the panels to the edge, you'd have a 16 on one end and an 11 on the other. We didn't want that, so we just took the difference between 16 and 11, 
it's five inches. We split that in half, two and a half inches. Added it to the 11, we get 13 and a half inch. So we've got a 13 and a half inch piece here on this end. And we should have a 13 and a half inch piece on the other end when we're done. We'll find out next time, I guess. And then they go right across. So another great day on the build. See you back here, right here tomorrow. See if we can finish the back. So long. today once we got in the rhythm get a routine going these things are flying up I get out of the forklift and hand up the panel with Bruce and then I lift Bruce up oh biggest problem is things falling off the roof like that was Don's knife just came down the roof I think it was his knife anyway and Don puts the clips on coming down Kicks it in there, kicks the ridge on. Bruce bends the end down. 35 of them on each side. Here you can see Don and Bruce screwing in the clips that hold the panel on. There's two screws in each clip. There's 10 or 12 clips up the 22 foot section of uh, roofing. And then the next piece snaps onto that clip and that's how the whole system is held down. down to the building lot again as you saw yesterday we got we were able to get the back roof done which I was pretty excited about the guys kicked it pretty hard we got into a good rhythm and uh, and really got a lot of work done so um, today we're gonna get started on the front and see how far we get there we've got it's gonna take us some time to work away that those valleys around that front porch roof but I'm sure we'll plow through that and the other news today is the electricians come in this afternoon to get so he's gonna get started today we'll probably just see what materials we need I got a bunch of stuff in the house but I'm sure he'll have a list he'll call in for the supply house and uh, and first thing I want to do is get power out to the garage so I got some power out there um, so let's see I'll meet you down there we'll see how much we get done today Hopefully we'll get a good ways 
across the front of the roof today. I don't know if we'll get it all done, but we might. We might get all the way across, so let's see how far we go. this new one so we've now we're going blue all right welcome back well yesterday we had a day of snow and wind not a good day to put metal roof up so we took the afternoon off but we got all the panels prepped bent all cut ready to go up so it's about 7 30 it's a friday um the three of us are here we're ready to get going so hopefully we can get the rest of these up today and then we'll all have left is the uh little porch roof but that can happen next week so I got you set up and we'll uh, see if we can get this done today and oh, by the way as you see we're back to sweatshirts and winter hats it's ridiculous well we got four panels up in about 20 minutes so here they all are they're all these are the tops side down here sun will get you see how we bent get all the bends done and then these here that one there on the top will be the last one we got to cut that one though once we uh, figure out how wide it needs to be all right let's keep going okay snap it in push it up Snapper! Bend the tab over and don't cut your finger. I already did that too late. Crimp the tab. Tom puts a nail in up top. Good type of clips. Screws We've got a stage break. Right? <laughs> 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 you get that one, Phil? I got it all. <laughs> That's it. Let's go work your way up. That's about as steep as the roof as you want to be walking on, I think. You don't eight, want to go any steeper than that. Eight twelve pitch. Any more than that, you want to figure something else out. The main part of my house is a 12 12. Yeah, the barn over there, the front's a 12. That's why I had a ladder against it.
now that just want to keep it going. And there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven channels left over there, so just keep going. That's all. Okay, so it's the end of the week and uh, we nearly got the roof done. We got one more day. I think one more day we'll be finishing it up. But you saw we got the, we started in the back, got the kinks worked out in the back. Took us some time to get around that chimney, figuring that out up there. Um, we moved on to the front today. We kicked some butt on the front, got almost the whole front done and then we did the little porch start of the porch roof so like i said we got one more day uh on the front porch get the ridge caps on um what else get the holes drilled for the uh plumbing vents get the hole drilled for the chimney up there so it's probably two more days work on the on the uh, roof but we're going to hit the uh the siding probably Tuesday we're gonna Monday we'll work on the roof Tuesday we'll hit the siding get working on the siding because what we're trying to do is get everything done that we need the te telehandler for so that we spend as little money as possible renting that thing so we want to get the siding on the gable ends here the high spots on either side of the house and that'll be exciting because we'll be putting the the shingles on that are darker gray so the house looks very gray right now gray roof gray siding but there's going to be white trim around all the windows and up underneath the soffit and then the darker gray uh, shingles on the gable end with that white one by eight all the way around the house so it looks very gray right now i call it the oakland raiders house but there's going to be a lot more white on it that'll really make it pop so I'm just gonna take you for a walk around and show you what we have left. So you see the back is mostly sided and roofed. Uh, we'll go around the it's a little rocky here. We got a little washout. Another couple of weeks, we'll hopefully get our lawn put in. So this side we haven't started siding yet. We've actually got our Take that chimney down, put the siding up, you know, the high, the, all the way up the wall. So that'll take some time. Um, I started getting the sawmill put together down there. I'm gonna hopefully get that done tomorrow, get it running and get some wood cut. The front, you see we got the, the whole front done. We're gonna finish up that porch like I said. We're gonna side this last. We're gonna finish the siding here last. So that's the front. And then the mudroom side. We just got a little bit of siding left to do. Of course all the trim, so coming along, wouldn't you say? We just love the roof. We think it's beautiful. It's just what we dreamed about. So, Anyway, if you want to follow along on the rest of our home build, consider subscribing. 
to the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time from White Pine Woods. So long. White Pine Woods. Not John Prine Woods. <laughs> Can look. White Pine Woods. Look at Brampa and say White Pine Woods. What's I wish? <laughs>